You know, it's always nice if you can get a couple of batches of flowers from the same plant in the same year. And by going through and deadheading perennials, that's removing the old flower heads, just when they're starting to go over, you can create new growth that with many of them will turn to a new batch of flowers. But with something like this Dianthus, this garden pink, that's making a very nice display over the edges of my path here, it's got so many flowers on that if you took a pair of pruners, it would take forever. So it's time to pull out the heavy artillery, a pair of hedging shears, and you can do the just as easily and a lot quicker. And all you have to do is to go through just when the flowers are starting to go over and just trim off the old flower heads above where the main batch of the leaves are, where the foliage is here. By taking these off, this will encourage the plant to make a nice carpet, in this case of silvery foliage. It will divert the energy into making all this nice compact carpet. And then guess what? In about three or four weeks time, you can look forward to a renewed batch of flowers. So by doing this, you'll save yourself a whole lot of time. And also, you'll probably get a nice tidy plant, but also a batch of flowers. This is David Wilson for Garden Splendor with another simple, quick, easy idea that I hope will make your gardening endeavors a little bit more successful. Garden Splendor, the plants worth remembering.